Do you ever feel good about being able to turn your AC off for the first time? I sure do. AC off. Oh yeah. Can't really see it, but man, it feels good. 4.30 in the morning, let's get going to Atlanta. Good morning. If you ever come to Exit 21, like I always say, stop at the QT. I am craving some of the breakfast pizza, so I'm gonna get some of that. And I just checked my uh, oil level, to make sure it was all good, and we're good. And for some reason, with the Rotella back in there, um, my Jake brakes are working great again, so. That is something to be tested further, but my Jake's did not work. Um, after I got my last oil change. So I had different oil from a different place. So we shall see if that's the problem. I didn't have the Rotella in there and the Jake's would work halfway and now they're working fully again. So exit 21, QT, Jake brakes are working and we're heading to Atlanta. And I don't know what time it is, probably like 5, 5, 15, 5.30. And it's chilly out here. Ooh, got the long sleeve on, but got a little sweater on, getting cold. So the uh, old magnet mount I left inside of my car, my Cobra. So I'm gonna get back to this one. This one was pretty good, but uh, it broke off at the uh, back of this thing. So we will keep our receipt. I don't know what it costs, but it should be around twenty dollars. And that's the mount we're gonna be using, MagPal. I know there's so many other mounts that you guys would suggest, but I never have time, and I just keep buying these. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll order one on Amazon. But yeah, let's get this paid for and get some pizza. This stuff is really worth a try. It has gravy instead of marinara. Oh, it's good stuff. And I got the last piece. All right, back on the road. Easier to use than the uh, other 
side going to Chattanooga tends to have more backed up traffic on the other side. Convenient. There's a little pilot right in front of this drop. CR England pulling a Dollar General. There you go. Speed limit 25. Let's see what we got down here. It's down here on the left past all the parking for the pilot. Containers going, Mr. Short Container. It says that's where I'm entering. I'm glad that he went in there because, yeah, you can tell by the curbs, a lot of trucks going in here. We are just over two hours early. We will see what they want to do. Like, what's all this stuff for? So definitely flammable. Who knows? All kinds of chemicals and stuff. And I supposedly have wax. So, we'll see. All right, we got lucky. We actually uh, picked the right place to back in front of. Uh, we're door 11. And we're right in front of door 11. So, not always like that, but we scored pretty good. It's not on the schedule? Okay. Okay. Don't open the doors, okay. Thank you. All right, so maybe not. It says not on the schedule. So back in front of door 11, but don't open the doors. Hmm. Thought we were good. We'll see. So it's been about five minutes and uh, must have been uh, okay to talk to the secretary because you said open them up. All right. Here we go. Let's get in here and get this uh, strap off. Ah, it kind of smells like ah, it smells like seasoning for cooking. I don't know what it, I wonder what kind of wax this is. Come on, break loose. Break loose. There you go. 
then you just simply pull this little thing back and it unclips and that's it so you always love when uh get you out of there quick he said i had no appointment but uh he said 11 o'clock so right as i was about to email the broker he said back on up and i was done within 30 minutes so it's 10 a.m that's awesome we got out of there a full hour before our appointment or i guess if we even had an appointment Either way, we're gonna head a little bit out of Atlanta, down to the middle of the city, and get up to the 85, kinda of headed back towards Greenville, just so I'm not stuck in the middle of traffic. If I do end up getting something, I'll come back into Atlanta if it's from Atlanta, but uh, I'd rather be out over there just to be safe. Let's get up to the 85. It's about 15 miles back from where I just was. Hello, Mr. Department of Public Safety. How we doing? Hanging out on the side of the freeway. Been a while since the truck got washed, so we're gonna go check out the little beacon. I just have to figure out where you come in at. Uh, looks like you come in out over here and turn around. I am at exit 160 off the 85. It is a beautiful day. And I think I'm gonna wash my trailer today too because it's, the back doors are pretty dirty. This guy just got cleaned up. Look at that white Whoa, whoa. The reefer unit. Shining. Uh, let's come in behind this guy. Do, do, do. Any, any day now, buddy. Take your time. All right. flatbed in front of us. Good, how you doing, man? We're gonna do truck and trailer, but no add-ons. Don't need no rain next nothing, and I don't want to do the engine. So this truck trailer with brightener on it, right? What's that? The brightener on it? I don't know what the brightener is. Uh, okay. Cool. Thanks, man. Yeah, you probably can go over there. They probably still never tell you about it. No worries. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited, man. Cool. Uh, we are gonna pop your hood and race in. Okay? Yeah, like the fender, the fenders. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, man. You're gonna spend about 70 bucks if you do your truck and your trailer. And it's more for a reefer washout too, but um, 44 bucks just for the truck. So 70 bucks total plus tax, but I would only go to the Blue Beacon. I've tried a couple other ones, but the service you get at these ones, top notch. So uh, we also just got a call from Truck and Wife. My answer to this, I love the Escalade, I love the way it looks, I love the General Motors product, but it just doesn't, every every month there's something else wrong with it. So, luckily we fixed it, YouTube was our friend, and we found out the common issue, and uh, here's Truck and Wife to tell you about it. I dropped my son off at school, I went to go pick my mom up, because uh, she's going to get her oil changed, and she wanted to come sit at the house and hang with me. This wasn't working, my car was working just fine, um, power was working to everything except for this. So I called good old husband and he had me go back here and this, take this little thing off of the battery, let it sit for about five minutes. I'm about to put it back up together and we'll see if it worked. Hopefully it worked. Maybe test. Yeah, that worked. That's crazy. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, babe. <laughs> 
Uh, here's the final rinse down, kind of rains down from above. And then they're spraying off the side some more. It's very militant like drill sergeant giving orders to eight guys around with pressure washers. <laughs> but they get the job done, they're the best in the industry. So when you get out here, just you're gonna get your truck washed. Hopefully there's a blue beacon around. It's, it's the same across all of them. I don't know if they're franchised or not, but they keep the same uh, standard. So that is it, blue beacon. You will come across this on Tuesdays. Um, they just keep bouncing loads. Remember the name bouncing or the term bouncing. I get some tire shine done. There you go. Tire shine. Remember the bouncing term uh, because brokers will just bounce a load to the later in the week. So there's a couple. There's one at a Hartwell. There's two loads about 20 miles from me going to Florida, but they won't budge on a price. $2,200 to go down to Sarasota. That is not worth it. So, just gonna head home, put the truck away, get back to these kids, and uh, see what tomorrow holds. Unless something pops up, I'll stop again at exit 21 and uh, see what's going on there. The little Landstar terminal, looks like it's brand new too. If you guys can see that. Straight ahead. Landstar stop right there. Good company to work for, but they still take a percentage from you. A lot better to be on your own, even though they have a good network of uh, loans. Let's get back on 85 and get closer to home. Well, that sure looked like fun, right? To be a kid again. And I am glad that truck and wife was able to get the battery terminal off and reset her screen. Always something with that car, but it sure is nice to carry the kids around in. Oh man. All right. What's going on in here though? I gotta do yard work again. But it's gonna stop growing soon, so I can't complain. Hopefully, we get some tomorrow. Wednesday's not a great day to book either, but Tuesday is definitely the worst. Got some Amazons? Yeah. What's up, dude? Dada. Whoa. Whoa. I saw you guys had a frog, guys. And you had some water balloons. Hey, can I tell you what we hold? Yes. What did you hold? We just hold the frog. You held him? Yeah. Whoa. Where? <laughs> Yeah, we turn it around because baby Callum keeps pulling stuff out of it. Like, what do you got here? My cereal holder. Oh, we found these in Uncle Jason's. Didn't you order these like yesterday? I did. He was on Prime, baby. Where is that crazy baby? He's on Prime. Ah, he's went down. Whoa, dude. Look at that car. Those came out pretty cool, Kaysen. Where's yeah, yours? Where's yours, Kaysen? Wow. And the monster truck we got from Uncle Jason. Can you help me? Can you help me put my stickers on? I will, Bubba. Yeah, baby. So, so you can see this one's a star one right here. It is. Can you help me do it? All right. Well, God bless everybody. We will see you tomorrow after we get some more cereal, I guess. Oh, yeah. Don't forget, like, click, subscribe. We'll see Truck and Wife right here, and she'll tell you about it. And uh, I'm going to get my hat back. Please hat, dude. Yeah, the giveaway. Let's hear from Truck and Wife. See you guys later. Hi, just stopping in to tell you about our giveaway this month. We're going to be giving away a Rand McNally dash cam 500 and $100 cash. You know the drill. Just click that description button. A link will pop up. You can click that link and you can enter to win. We do ask that you please like and subscribe. If you already are subscribed, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. But if you could head over to our Facebook and maybe share one of our videos from there, we'd really appreciate that as well. Good luck. <laughs> So my mom <laughs> bought these water balloons <laughs> and I figured it's about the end of summer so might as well use them. Oh! <laughs> Throw them at each other. You don't just... Oh my goodness. Hey mama, you can get... Ha <laughs> ha.
Oh. <laughs> you take a pop. Don't Are splash you? me, Goofy. <laughs> Is he gonna jump? Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Careful. Be gentle. Be gentle. Let me see. Look at him. Is he gonna jump? See his head? Don't, no, don't squish him, okay? You gotta be gentle with him. Mommy, yeah, can baby. we keep him with us? Oh, we can't keep him, but we can we can observe him for a little bit and then we gotta let him go, okay? Okay. But be easy with him. Oh, 